Everyone, it is Tuesday, June 20th, uh, 2023, and it is 5.50 New York local time. Uh, before we get to what is going to be in this video, if you are watching this on YouTube, please make sure to check out my Apex Trader Funding uh, affiliate link, which is in the description. I do get a small kickback if you sign up using that affiliate link. In this video, we're going to recap any and all of the um, ICT London Silver Bullet setups that formed. Um, I was actually asleep for part of London today, and um, so I didn't, I didn't actually get these. Uh, but I'm going to review where they where they were. So our London Silver Bullet time frame is from 0300 to 0400. The ES traded up into a fair value gap, which you can see to the left, and also this one, and then targeted liquidity lower. So the London Silver Bullet was right here on the ES. Okay. By the way, if you are on TradingView or you've never heard of the ICT Silver Bullet, um, I do have it all over my YouTube channel. Um, I have an explanation for what's going on here. So the YM um, 0300 to 0400. All of our index futures uh, traded very similarly. So our inefficiency to the left was located right here and price traded up into that towards the end of the setup hour. So a short here on the YM uh, was there. In Q, um, in Q traded up into an inefficiency here, which I'm highlighting with my cursor, highlighting with an arrow. I'm just going to breathe through, breathe through these because, um, yeah, I don't feel like making a very long video at the moment. Um, NQ traded into a five minute inefficiency that was pretty obvious, pretty bold faced right there. Um, I admit I actually got on the wrong side of this. Um, not proud of that, but I did get stopped out and it was the loss wasn't too bad. Um, so anyways, um, during the setup time, I this was our inefficiency to the left. And Russell 2000, I think, is going to be similar. Yeah, inefficiency to the left on the Russell 2000, and it went and targeted liquidity down at 1883. Australian dollar futures, um, not seeing it. If I don't see it on the five minute time frame, I'm going to move on to the next product. Uh, I don't really see it on the five minute time frame. I guess there is a volume imbalance right here. So there was this. British pound futures, um, I'm not seeing any inefficiency immediately on the five minute time frame that I would have been interested in on the British pound. Uh, Canadian dollar futures, so Canadian dollar futures uh, towards the middle of the London session traded into an inefficiency uh, a buy side inefficiency, which I'm highlighting with my arrow. You could have gone short on that. Euro futures. Let's see if I see anything on the 15 minute time frame. I don't. I'm not going to hunt for it. Um, Japanese yen futures. Yeah, it was right here. So, Japanese yen futures, we can see that price. Towards the beginning of the setup hour, uh, curled back into um, a recent fair value gap. So it was right here. New Zealand dollar futures. Let's see if we had an inefficiency that we could have taken a trade on. Yes, we did. It was right there to the left. Swiss franc. Not going to talk about that. Um, I am long gold, and honestly, I'm probably going to end up just taking a loss on this. We'll see. Um, it's probably going to be a loss. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, wanting to long gold because of how many highs we have up around here. Um, 
that's probably ambitious and this is probably going to be a loss. Anything on copper, silver's moving lower, crude oil, and uh, I am short natural gas um, as well. So natural gas, I got short on a, on an inefficiency uh, where I'm highlighting my cursor. And my stop, I had to move up above the most recent highs because I have a feeling that that might, have, might just be a turtle soup. And 30-year bonds are not doing very much. So I'm probably going to end up just taking a loss on this gold long. Um, gold actually presented the opposite of what I'm trading. Um, it presented a short opportunity where my cursor is. So we have a, uh, an inefficiency here, but it, um, also during the setup hour, it had the had a sell side inefficiency form on the 15 minute time frame that I got long on. And so I'm probably, yeah, this is probably going to end up being a loss. Uh, we will see. So that has been a recap of our ICT London Silver Bullet um, setups. I know that I just went through this really quickly. You can see that most everything did offer uh, an inefficiency during the setup hour. Um, unfortunately, this was not my best trading session. Uh, I did take a couple of losses, so not my best, uh, not my best performance. But um, the setups were there, and if you were on side, there was money to be made, especially nice and clean on the ES here. So if you are on TradingView and you are not familiar with my work, I talk about the ICT Silver Bullet setup. That is all I do. That is all I talk about. And uh, if you've never seen it before, if you're interested in that model, I have demonstration videos on my YouTube channel. And uh, that'll be that for now. I will be back uh probably after our AM setup. So it'll be, it'll be a few hours. Thank you. Bye-bye.